I'm not a math teacher, but I had someone ask me about some math questions with uh, square inscribed to circle, and uh, another one where there was this sort of this plus sign inscribed in a, a square where you have to find the area which is bigger, and one where you have to find the perimeter which is bigger. While I'm not a math teacher, I do like problems, so let me just explain how I would think about this. One concept that's really important is a 45 degree triangle. Specifically, this is 45 degrees and this is 45 degrees. This side's one, this side's one. This side will always be the square root of two times bigger than any of the sides. That comes from Pythagorean's theorem. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So if this is one squared plus one squared, that's gonna equal C squared. Two is gonna equal C squared and C is gonna equal the square root of 2, which, by the way, it's also worth noting, is approximately 1.41. It's not exactly, but it's, it's close enough. If you have a side that is uh, bigger, like let's say these sides were 10 or 20, well then this would just be 10 or 20 times the square root of 2. Now another concept in this particular problem that's useful is when you look at the square, quickly you can see that the diagonal is going to be the same as the, the uh, diameter of the circle. So let's look at this. You're told that the area of the circle, which by the way, the area, I'm sorry, the area of a square, which by the way is the length squared because those two sides are the same length, is 100. So if that's 100, L squared equals 100, the length of each of those sides of the square must be 10. So this is 10, this is 10, and frankly this is 10, and this is 10. Here's where this little trick we just found out, 1, 1 squared of 2, comes into play. I can very quickly say that since the sides are 10, the diagonal must be the square root of 2 times bigger. So, or square root of 2 times that. So that's 10 square root of 2. Now the prize, the goal, what we're after, is to find the area of the circle. Recall the area of a circle, sorry, that area, not the circumference. The area is the pi times the radius squared. Well, the diameter is 10 square root of 2, so the radius is half of that. That's 5 square root of 2. So that's pi times 5 square root of 2 squared. I can score each of those separately. 5 squared is 25, and the square of any square root is just the number underneath. So the square root of 2 squared is just 2. So that means that the area is going to be 50 times pi. So that's how I like to think about that particular question. This next question, which is a bigger area, at first glance, it looks to me like the red is bigger, but we need to sort of prove that to ourselves. One strategy you can use with problems that's very valuable is to find symmetry. I'm going to break this into quarters. So you got here, 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 and here. When I look, I can see quickly, well, wait a minute, the red is bigger. In fact, if you look at the squares, so these little squares can be broken into two triangles. When I look at the red triangles, in this quadrant here, there's one, two, three, four, five red triangles. And for the blue, there's one, two, three of them. So I can see very quickly, yes, the red does have more area than the blue. Let's say we actually wanted to come up with the number. What is that area? Well, let's take a closer look at each square. Each square has a side of one and one. So each square, each little square that is, has an area of one. Each triangle has an area of half that, or half. So let's find out what's the area of the blue ones. Well, I can see in my little quadrant there, there is three triangles, and each of those triangles is one half of, uh, well, it's just unitless, but one half. Since there's four quadrants, we broke it up by symmetry. That's going to give us 12 halves, or six. The area of the blue things are six. Red, it's pretty much the same idea, except now there is going to be five halves. And since that's just one of the four quadrants, times four, that equals 20 divided by two, 
that equals 10. So clearly the red is indeed bigger, has more area than the, the blue. That's the way I like to think about it. I don't know that everybody thinks about it that way, but that's, that's the way I approach it. With this question, which is bigger, the red perimeter or the blue perimeter, this is probably the hardest of the, the three questions here. Again, we come back to that idea of the triangle where uh, if it's units of one, like it is here, one, one, this is square root of two. So to get the blue perimeter, well, that's pretty easy. It's four by four, which is gonna give you uh, 16. Or you can go one, two, three, four, all the way around, you'll, you'll get 16. The perimeter of the blue is 16. The perimeter of the red, when you look at each of these sides, just like this one, one, square root of two, this 45 degree triangle, each one of those sides is the square root of two. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 of those. So the perimeter of the red is going to be 12 times the square root of two. Now that's still, unless you're really intuitive when it comes to the square root of two, you may not know well, how, how big is that. You can multiply it. I don't know if you have a calculator, uh, but let's just say that you don't have a calculator. How are we gonna figure out whether 12 square root of two is bigger than 16 or not? The way I think about this is I like to break apart that 12. So 12 times the square root of two is actually the same thing as 10 times the square root of two plus two times the square root of two. Now I also know, and this is a good fact to know, the square root of two is approximately 1.41. For our purposes here, it's gonna be, that's, that's plenty precise enough. So 1.41 times 10 and two times 1.4 one. That's going to give us, move the decimal over, 14.1. And on the bottom, 2 times 1.41, that's 2 times 0 0.4, 0 0.8 times 0 0.01 is 0.2. So 14 plus 2 gives you 16. 0.1 plus 0.8 is 0.9. 2. The red is 16.92. So indeed, we have proven to ourselves that the red is indeed bigger than the blue. Uh, this is how I think about it. I hope that somebody finds that useful.